what factors to consider before making an offer, the step-by-step -step process. Hello everyone, if this is your first time on this channel, my name is Mikhail Kirkjian. I'm a real estate broker and investor, and I work in Canada, in the Quebec, and in the Ontario markets. A lot of our business that we do is done in the Quebec market. We sell apart buildings, and we deal with all kinds of buyers, experienced buyers, less experienced buyers, newer buyers, buyers that have many doors, the buyers that have less doors. And the key item for all buyers is really to kind of figure out what's going to be the step-by-step -step process you're going to use to make an offer before making an offer. In this video, I'm going to share with you six steps that I would use before making an offer. Step one is going to be the actual pricing. Does this pricing make sense? Is this property asking a asking price that somewhat makes sense. For example, if it's an area where property should be selling for, let's say, 120 to 150 a door, and they are asking $300,000 a door. Well, this one, it's already a scratch. You could just forget this property. It makes no sense. No point to do the other steps. Let's say if step one passes and it's a price that kind of makes sense, but I'm not sure if you want to go ahead and do the next steps. Well, then step two is going to be the location. Is this a location that you want to own property? Now, what do I mean by this? Let's say, for example, if you look at uh, yourself as an investor, if you like, for example, to be in a location that's gonna be close to your home, you wanna be driving from the site uh, to your home, maybe not more than 30, 40 minutes. Well, location one, does this make sense? If it does, great. If it doesn't, you can skip it. Other factors as well to consider for location, if you like being next to the metros, next to the buses, next to schools, next to whatever, the, is this fitting your criteria? If location doesn't make sense, scratch it obviously there's no point to do the next steps if uh, one of the first two steps is not working step number three is going to be the demographics i like looking at demographics what do i mean by demographics is that demographics means that let's say for example if i'm looking at a site which is going to be near university so do i want to be uh renting out let's say mainly to students and, and so on or would i rather be buying a property that's going to be more in the suburbs, that's going to be more maybe an older clientele, which is going to be less turnover, and it's going to be a, a, a bit more stable as far as vacancies and so forth. Obviously, both areas make sense. There's, there's the right buyer for all kinds of properties. Some buyers only want to be buying properties downtown. Others only want to be buying properties near a metro or a bus station. Others want to be buying properties only in the suburbs. So it always depends on what your criteria is. Just make sure the properties... Um, uh, demographics is making sense for what you are looking for. Now, let's see if uh, uh, step number three made sense as well, the demographics. Now we're going to say, okay, now I'm going to look at this closely to see if the property condition makes sense. What I mean by that, the property condition is that, for example, let's say if you have a price in mind for this property and let's say they're asking a certain price, then you realize, hang on a sec, uh, the roof is old, the brick is old, the balconies are old, the windows are old, they're being too expensive for this price. If I buy this property, I got to inject an extra $400,000, $500,000 of renovations. Then what that means is maybe the property's asking price doesn't make any sense. So the condition, before even making an offer, you can assess yourself, figure out, you know what, at this, at this price point, does this property make sense for me condition-wise and price-wise? Once that passes as well, so assuming that that's also a making sense, now you look at the upside and the cap rate. What I mean by that is that a property that has no upside in the rent. Let's say, for example, you're buying a property where the current owner has done a great job in renting out the apartments. It means that the rents that they have is already pretty close to market. Maybe they're off by 10, 15, 20%. That means they've done a great job managing the property and putting it in a state they should be and also getting rents that they should be getting. Well, this kind of property does has less upside for you when you buy a property. That means you have to buy this property at a cap rate. That makes sense for you because once you buy this property, after tenants leaves or if some tenants leave, you have less room to be increasing the rents because the current owner's already done a great job in the rentals. But for example, if the current owner who's selling this property has done a great job, let's say all of a sudden their rents are well below market, if the going rents are renting maybe for $2,000 and their rents in place are $1,000, $1,100, $1,200, means this property is offering you a good 30, 40, 50% upside in rents. In such a case, then you can afford to go a bit more aggressive on the cap rate, a bit lower on the cap rate, because then this way, you know that once a tenant leaves, he's going to be able to do renovations and do the upkeep and do what they have to do to increase the rent and also increase the property's net income and, of course, the property value as well. 
the last step is going to be the actual number analysis. Um, a lot of times, uh, even myself, I've been guilty of this, where I've done started doing number analysis when I had not even checked the, the first uh, the first L, the first points of this uh, of this criteria. The number analysis you could leave it at the end because once you you realize that okay, asking price makes sense, location makes sense, demographics makes sense, property condition is okay, the upside is okay as numbers I'm comfortable with. That's when you can analyze the numbers, make sure that the price that's being asked, the amount of down payment, the actual uh, cap rate, the expenses, and the purchase price are making sense for your investment. If you like uh, this kind of videos, follow the channel. I do only uh, real estate related uh, uh, videos. And if you have any questions, any comments, please don't hesitate to comment below. The next video you can watch is this one here that I put is recession proof real estate investing. I know there's a lot of talk right now about a recession maybe coming up and so forth. Uh, if you watch this video, it's going to help you really uh, figure out how to, what's the best way to be investing in an environment, which is the kind of the environment that we have right now.